why not make good use of the opportunity that you are having? And the opportunity I was having was photography. So, um, there was this ferry that used to cross over the Volta Lake into the Volta region. That's when the Adomi Bridge was being constructed. Uh, we constructed. I mean, it was going through a maintenance phase. So, why not? Why not try your luck there? But then there were a whole lot of things that was going through my head. I've been a photographer. I've, 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 I've been doing photography in the entertainment world, in the industry where everybody is either pretending he's a big person or actually he's a big person. And where I, I had to also try to fit in at all costs. And I'm going to move from that place to come and take instant pictures at the ferry. I, I, I was thinking it was the meaning. Then yeah, the, 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 the fact that I had taught students and those students might also pass by. The fact that I had been a school professor in Peters. But then, they didn't really matter. All that mattered was the fact that I was, I, I'm supposed to be able to raise funds to pay the bills that are coming in, right? So, I, I made a smart choice by coming down to start the photography here. But because I was not prepared for uh, the instant type of photography, I came with only a camera. Then I convinced a friend who was also having um, the printer to come along with me. We got here, we started working. Surprisingly, the first three days made me earn a huge amount of money. That was like three times the amount of, I was being paid as a teacher. Can you imagine that? I, I, I couldn't have imagined that that will ever happen to me. So, moving forward. Now, the job was good. It was going great. I was still doing my weekend gigs. Sometimes going, I, I, I go to Accra. That's if there's a big program in Accra. I still go to the conference center to attend to, um, whether it's Miss Ghana, whether it's um, Foresight Music Video Awards, whether it's the Ghana Music Awards, whatever it is, I try to just partake in it. But then my focus had not shifted from the fact that I was really making money from the ferry. It was, yes, at times it felt demeaning. At, at times it felt challenging to uh, meet some of my mates. Lecha, you remember meeting me there? Papus, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I met some of my former seniors. I met some of my juniors. I met some of my mates. Uh, yeah, really it was not a nice ex experience when you meet them because I had to, this how this how really the job there was like. I mean, the boats, um, the, the ferry comes to the uh, edge of the river, the other side of the river, picks enough cars, move them over to the other bank of the river, then they move on. Now, for my job as a photographer there was to try convincing people who are passing by to make memories of the, this whole thing that was happening there so that if the ferry ends, the, the, the whole ferrying of um, trucks, cars and human beings to the other side ends, they have a memory of whatever happened there. And it's not easy to convince people to take pictures. It's not even, it, it, easy. With the advent of good phones and this new modern type of um, smartphones. But, I mean, I, I think God was just watching out for me. He was just doing a great thing for me. So I gathered enough money in preparation, in preparation of uh, for where I am right now, and where I am right now is having my own studio, where my, my studio has become a household name. Everybody talks about it. I do my I, I do my, my my guests around. I get to take pictures of great and amazing people around the chiefs, the the the, the MPs the district executive, and it's not only one chief executive. I mean, the changing phases of all, all chief executives, and it's not only one chief executive. I mean, the changing phases of all, all the political scenes that we are witnessing here, I make memories of it, and I'm excited about it. It has made me meet a lot of people. I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity of uh, like becoming a photographer here. But it was, it was not an easy thing. I mean, from the ferry time, when I started, when I got my own space, 
working with people who, who, who actually stabbed me in the back, <laughs> who came to take advantage of me. People who, who, who like, even with the customers, uh, we, we've had difficult clients to work with, very difficult clients to work with. Some are very rude outrightly. Some are pessimistic from the very beginning to the end. Some are uh, plain right rude, very rude. I mean, uh, even if you, you please them, no matter how you please them, no matter how you, you use the nicest words with them, they just are so bitter. They are, they, are, they, are, they are unforgiving, as though they are holding some resentment in them. And it comes to pricing. I mean, pricing is it's not been fair, but I, I like I like the fact that I mean I've, I've I've had my own share. I've had my own share, but the pricing here is not as good as Accra, yeah, or any other big big city I, I, I I've come across. But then I'm okay about the fact that it's consistent. People do come to solely Made Studios in Atimpoku. And those who know me in Accra still invite me to come to Accra. As far as Northern Region, as far as Central Region, as far as Takraji, I still get my, con my, my, my contrast there. Does it have uh, a negative side? Yes. Yes. Some of the, the, the gadgets we work with are not easy to handle. Sometimes when it's new, you have to learn about it. So if you just take it on the field, it might disappoint you. Um, I pray that we, we, we have a hub where they can test all memory cards that come into the country, right? Yeah, because I've taken a whole program, actually a whole program, and had, had I not bugged up, and, and it, it was the mistakes that I made that made me learn all these things, okay? So had I not bugged up, I would miss all the things that I, uh, the, the, the memories I made. And I've had time, I, 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 I've had my own share of also losing people's um, contents. Not, not intentionally, but then I've, 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 I've had that experience before. But, well, I try, I try my best. But then it doesn't happen anymore. It won't happen anymore. Why would it even happen? Yeah, I have my recovery software. I have uh, my backups and I, I back up like, 10 times so that I don't get into that situation where I come and tell you that I, I, I lost everything. No, I won't tell you. It will never happen. Don't worry. You can trust me on that. Then, the other advantages. The other advantages. Well, I don't think if I was a banker, I would be traveling around the, the, the country or going outside the borders of the country to enjoy myself or do... do uh, 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 do some of the things I do. Yeah, it has helped me traveling around Africa and outside Africa. And I'm talking about photography. So I, I, I think it's an advantage. I get to be free sometimes. And those trips afford me that, 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 that leisure time to actually explore other places. But, but it's stressful, very stressful. In fact, there are times you want to work on an image You've, you've, you've done all that you can. You've edited it and it's so good. But then you sleep on it, you wake up, you look at the project and you realize that, Charlie, why not just start all over? It's stressful to be very creative. And I think a lot of creatives are very nocturnal. It's not their fault. They have to. They really have to. To bring out the best for you. Yeah, when I moved into Akosomo and I started this photo studio, yeah, I, there, were, there were things I didn't know what happened. I just believed God will, will help me in the process. So with time, then the gates started coming in. And in my constituency, in the Sujamai, Akosomo area, I've actually had the privilege of taking pictures of, of the sitting MP, Ampim Dako. I've, I've had the privilege of being the personal photographer of the MPP aspirant, parliamentary candidate, Honorable Polansa. Thank you, Honorable Polansa. Um, I've had the privileges of, of, of working with VRA, uh, I mean, their 60th anniversary, two coverage and two pictures and videos. Then, um, yeah, yeah, Continental. Continental, I've had 
a few gigs working for them to project their their, their plays. Uh, then we have the gig at Christian Taylor. Yeah, big ups to you, Christian Taylor. Yeah, he invited me over sometime when he was doing the photography for uh, Royal Sinchi and taking the coverage. Uh, I was uh, I, I was actually glad to get involved. Then uh, moving forward, yeah, of more Credit Union. We did some gigs for them. Yeah, yeah, Bridgeview. Bridge view, it had been an exciting experience. Yeah, I did the first opening for the, the, the videos and pictures for their opening. Bridge view is actually a good place to hang out. So, if you have not tasted Akosomo yet, you've not tasted the beauty of uh, my constituency, please do come around. Come to all these new, beautiful places I've mentioned Continental, Sajuna. So, if you are not in this constituency, if you've not come to Akosomo or Esojamai, to be precise, uh, I mean, the VRA, the VRA Township is actually a nice place. Akosomo Township is a, a nice place to hang out. Then you 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 you, you can pass through, bridge you, relax, chillax, and all that. Royal St. is too there, and everybody, I think everybody knows Royal St. You know, yeah, it's a nice place to relax. And I thank God I've worked with all the places I've mentioned. I think we're having a gig on 28th. Yeah. At Peninsula, uh, I, I'm, I'm yet to, to see how that goes. I would love, I would really, really love to take pictures at the Peninsula. So I'm looking forward to it. I've had a lot of people who have mentored me in terms of photography itself. And um, one of the biggest and the best person I have worked with and I was so excited to have worked with and I was very privileged to work with was Almighty, the great Bob Pezos. In fact, I liked him. He commissioned my studio for me. He, he came to open up the space for me. My journey with him has been so exciting. My, my, my journey was all exciting. Yeah, I remember, yeah, there was this particular picture we took of the Adobe Bridge, which the, the, the NDC adopted and used in the green book yes the famous adomi bridge um, picture we took with flares you know we were taking pictures around my constituency one time and then bob was like okay let's go to the riverfront and let's take some pictures we got to the riverfront and then we, we saw we saw the adomi bridge we saw the lights on it then what was as crazy like he was just came out like charlie let's take this view let's really take this view and I had not thought of it that way before. The stood there, mounted the tripod, took the pictures. Now we took the pictures, we went back to the hotel and it was like, wow. You know, this picture, what if the Adobe Bridge was open with a lot of fanfare? Then he started adding the flares and we, that's how come we got that picture. And uh, I, later on I realized that the NDC people had used it for the Green Book, yeah. So yes, we've had some time. And yes, he did a lot. More than that, I mean, he brought in John Dumelo to come to visit me in the photo, in the photo studio. We had fun with uh, John Dumelo. And yes, John Dumelo, you are the real deal, man. You are really the bomb. You came in, you were cool with us. You actually, you, you, you actually also enjoy. I, I, I remember the joining session at the, uh, at the Adomi Bridge and it was a sight. And yeah, you are the deal. I like you. I like the fact that you 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 you're, you connect a lot with people that you come across, and you, there's no there's no difference. I mean, there's no age difference. There's no um, I'm the big star and you are not. Yeah, I I've, I've really appreciated those times, and yeah, we keep on doing other stuff. I mean, we've grown, we've grown. Um, I myself have uh, I've gotten myself in certain productions, and yeah. I would really like to big ups to uh, Jay Pezos. He became a great friend. He has, he has been helping out. He teaches when he, he, he has the opportunity of teaching you. And yes, he directed most of the movies that you've seen me in. And I like I like the fact that he got me involved in a Saba. He got me also like he was behind the yeah, he, he was behind the camera when we were shooting. Um, red red for the vows day yeah 
and we've done a lot of production. So yeah, the aspect of um, Soul Image that gets involved in production is also there. We do pictures, we do our movies, we, co we cover events and uh, the journey has been terrific. It's been terrific. Um, I like his direction. I mean, JPZO's direction. When you are on set and he's, he's behind the camera and he's directing, at, at least you get things on point. I've, I've, I'm going to like that. Now, yeah, photography has given me a special place. And I think if I had not done photography, I, I don't know what, what, what else would have brought me, I mean, giving me the milestone I've, I've gotten. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff, but then, I mean, photography has been the, 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 the basic thing that has propelled me to this particular point. I, I thank God for photography. I thank God he actually brought me into photography. And anytime you are in Akosombo, anytime you are in a Sujamai, anytime you are in the Eastern region, and you want the best photographic studio, just think of Soul Image Studios. We'll give you the best. I mean, we don't only offer photography service. We don't only do the videos. We don't only do the graphics. We don't only do things related to entertainment industry. We are actually the best people you can communicate with. We know we are not rude. We are, we are, we are, we are. Life is actually a journey. I said I wanted to be a pilot in the beginning. And really, I would have loved, loved to be a pilot. Maybe it's not even too late for me. But then, growing up, I became an, a, a chartered accountant at, at a point in time. Or I studied chartered accountancy at a point in time. Then, I realized that I should top it up with my degree in banking and finance. So I did my, my degree in banking and finance. But the journey of life is not that straightforward. So when I got the opportunity of being a photographer, I took it. I worked in the industry, I paid my dues, and I'm, I'm here. I've been tempted on several occasions to do like cut corners, try dubious means, or rush the process to get to where I am. But then I thank God I've, I've, I've just gone through it gradually. I've never tried pushing myself out of like going all out to do what is wrong to gain the popularity I want to gain. I've not, I've not, I've, 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 I've not gone all out to make um, wrong decisions to get to where I am. I've trusted the process and I'm still trusting the process. And I know God is going to direct me and take me to the place I need to get to. So there's no need rushing the process. It's always a smooth thing if you trust God. Okay, so learn hard. Photography is not just about photography. I mean, I think my, my math, it gives me accurate measurements at a particular time and the intelligence and the fact that you are able to communicate also helps you wherever you go in fact if you see another photographer who is speaking pigeon with you and not really communicating very well with you i don't think you would like to approach such a photographer you would want to be you would want a photographer who is educated okay then you try the process you trust god ultimately then you go you you follow up step by step you get there you go no matter how how long you think it is, no matter how you think everybody's bypassing you. Yeah, I have people I would want to be in the industry. I've, I've, I have great personalities I would like to be like them. People who have gears that I would like to get. But, I mean, once it's uh, an unstop process, once I've not given up on life, once God has given me life and constantly I, I work, I know I'll get there. I know I'll get there. So, yes, budget day. Yeah, take it easy. Take it easy. You get there. Trust me. You you don't believe it. I said trust me. You will get there.